This review looks at a model and an accessory that goes with it. As usual for a WSI truck model, it comes in a standard branded box with a window. And so in time honored fashion, let's pull out the tray, cut the factory ceiling, lift the lid, and let's see what we've got. Well, unsurprisingly, it turns out that we've got a truck model and that consists of the brick trailer. And it's modeled on one made by the Dutch company Fleur. And on board is a Kennis roll loader. The other part in the box is the 4x2 tractor and it's a DAF XF95 Space Cab. The model is in the livery of the Dutch company Henken, which is a block paving specialist. There's a couple of other bits of packaging to remove from the trailer, but as usual on a model like this, there's no information about the model and there's nothing about the real truck either. Also, there's no indication of how many models have been made in this particular color scheme. In this review, we'll also look at an accessory, which is WSI 121002. And it comes in a simple plain WSI box. So opening it up we find that it's chock full of little brick pallets. And these are parts which can be used as a load so they're a good match for the brick trailer. You can get the pallets out one at a time but if you don't want to feel your life ebbing away you can just tip them out. The underneath of the DAF is typical WSI, it's got a high metal content and the transmission and suspension is modelled very well. There are different tyres on the front and rear wheels and the wheels look good in the Henken colour scheme. There's some good detail on the roof of the cab and the door mirrors are colour coded. But compared to the passenger mirror on the real truck, the one on the model is upside down. The rest of the detailing looks very sharp and it has an authentic number plate. Behind the cab there are the usual coiled airlines and some nice textured surfaces. And at the back there's some decent lights detailed with plastic lenses. The underside of the brick trailer is very nice, it's highly detailed. The structure looks good, there are hoses running everywhere and the only negative point on the review model was some untidy gluing. The wheels and the wheel arches look very good with the standout white painting. At the front there's a metal access ladder and the trailer sides are also metal. And on the inside the deck has got a very good simulated wood finish and the tracks are there for the roll loader. Looking at the rear of the truck, the detailing is particularly good with the many different graphics. The Kennis loader crane is also a good looking part with some highly detailed graphics. But there is quite a lot of plastic in it, including the operator's seat. The grab at the end is metal, but it's spoiled a bit by the big silver rivets. Let's have a look now at the brick pallets, and I said before these are not included with the truck. They are plastic parts with good looking bricks, but they lack any kind of straps, so I guess all the bricks would fall off if they were real. So let's try out the DAF on the Cranes Etc Superhighway and it rolls okay without really being free rolling. The rear wheels share a common axle and there is steering on the front but as you can see the range of movement is very very small. So you can pose it slightly turning but this DAF is really designed to be on the straight and narrow. The other feature on the DAF is the tilting cab and it tilts very far forward and that lets you get a good look at the detailed engine. Turning to the brick trailer and it has got plenty of functionality including steering on the rear two axles and it's proportional so axle 3 turns more than axle 2 and furthermore there's working suspension on each of the three axles. At the front there are a couple of landing legs and you can lower the pads by unscrewing them and that works well because as they lower there's no unsightly screw threads they have smooth pistons. With the trailer the right way up it rolls along fine and it also stands well on the landing legs. There is another feature on axle 1 which if you depress it and flick a couple of little switches then you can clip the axle up out of service and that saves tyre wear when the truck is empty. It's time now that two become one by sticking the pin in the hole. Once it's all lined up it's a simple push fit on the trailer and then they're clipped into position and the truck's ready to rock and roll. We'll now look at the loading end of things with the Kennis roll loader. And the loader arm can be raised and lowered and it's also articulated, with the grab at the end being on an extending telescopic section. It's called a roll loader because the whole loader crane can move along the surface of the trailer and it does that by travelling on the rails fixed into the deck. It also rotates to pick up and set down a load. The grab at the end also works in that it opens and closes but it can't be rotated. We'll now have a look at the functionality of the brick pallets and there are 30 of them in the box. 
You can have a bit of fun with these in some idle moments because you can build up some little structures. Or you could stack them one on top of another to see if you can build a little tower 30 pallets high. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? The brick pallets certainly are a good accessory for the truck though, so now we're into the real life test, loading a pallet of bricks onto the trailer. The grab can be lowered to a realistic level and it is actually quite a tight fit getting a pallet into the grab. But at least that means it's likely to stay there when we lift it and it does. So it's up and over and in. And to position it in the right place on the deck we use the rolling mechanism and we can put the pallet down more or less where we want it. So that's the basic principle of how the roll loader can load the truck with bricks. And if you are suitably deranged you could choose to load the whole model this way. But for practical purposes the finger grab is faster and more accurate. And there's more than enough pallets in the accessory pack to fill up the whole truck. So there we have it, that's the brick trailer complete with its load of bricks. Every once in a while you get to see a breakthrough model. And here is this one, breaking through. To summarise the brick pallets look pretty good and they're recommended. And they would probably go well with any suitable trailer. The brick trailer is a very smart looking truck in the colours of Henkin. It's got a high level of detailing and the functionality is good too. So if you're looking for a more unusual kind of truck, then this one is highly recommended. Mm -hmm.